There's Klingons on the stopper bow, stopper bow, stopper bow. There's Klingons on the stopper bow, scrape them off, Jim. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi and welcome to Geekology, I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight we're doing another Eagle Master exclusive. Da, 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 da. Now, before I introduce this marvellous item and the varying ways they shaft over people who collect Eagle Moss ships. <laughs> there are many ways. How, how long did it take us to get this, Sven? A little while. Why did it take us a little while, Sven? It was ordered when it was on offer. Yeah, because, no. It'd be knocked down to less than 30 quid. And then I added the uh, Eagle Moss, uh, what was it, Facebook Facebook 15 to get a further 15% off. So, yes, great, wonderful. It arrived, and the landing landed bird of prey, which is one of the reasons we're getting it. The, um, the only okay. reason uh, had one bent gun and one broken gun. So you sent that back like a good little boy. Mm -hmm. I contacted Zoe um, and I packed it up. Actually, to be fair, the only one of their customer care team who seemed to give a fudge. But there is that. Um, and she said if I sent her the proof of posting, she'd get another one out immediately. So I did that and then another one turned up the following day. Literally the damage had been the other way round. So the gun that before was just bent was now broken. And the gun that before was bent, uh, was broken, was now bent. But that's okay, because you sent it back. Well, I contacted her again, um, and she went, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll order you the one on its own, because the bonus special had come back in, which is, it's sold on its own, the, the, the landed bird of prey. Yeah. Um, so following day, DPD turn up with a parcel, I open it up, and inside it was, well, That, um, <laughs> which is clearly which, which is break. what we'd put in the order with this. Yeah. What was from our review that you may have seen. And now the packing slip did actually say bird of prey, but that is not a bird of prey. That's not a bird of prey. But we'll come back to this in a moment. Um, so I contacted Zoe, and she was like, "Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get another one out. This one took a little longer because it was later in the day. Um, so it's not the following day; it's the day after." Um, another parcel arrived from DPD. It did! I opened it up and the blandy bird of prey inside had no barrels on the gun whatsoever. It was still actually in the packaging as it's supposed to have been, but the barrels you, had gone. You mean we got a special collected one where the guns had been retracted? No, no. So I contacted her again <laughs> and she was like, you, you are, no, no I'm not kidding, here's the photo. Um, so then that got ordered by DPD again. And it wasn't the following day, it was a... S Sorry, no, let me get that right. The the one without the barrels turned up on a Saturday. So that must have been paid the £15 for the Saturday delivery on a model that was worth 20 maximum. Um, yeah, but proof of yeah. caring. Yeah, and then um, that one with the broken things, I, I contacted her and we got another one sent through. And that arrived on the Tuesday because nobody see it, saw it until Monday. Um, and that was actually intact. Woohoo! So, a long way to go. Now, yeah. all the photos would have been coming up while I've been told, telling you about that because it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and I feel so sorry for Zoe because she's, she scores like like 12 out of 10 as far as customer care is concerned. But then it goes through the rest of Eagle Moss. <laughs> and it yeah. drops to about 3 out of 5. Um, so... This is actually one of the things that kind of annoys me about Eagle Moss because the one ship in this pack is the Landed Klingon Bird of Prey, which I know is you can buy it separately. But it's a bonus. But if you buy it separately, technically it works out more expensive than just buying a yeah. three pack and separating the ships. Because I know people I can give Klingon Birds of Prey to, it's fine. Yeah. So And of course the other two Birds of Prey were in the normal collection. When the normal collections already yeah. have those two. But these web exclusives annoy me because as subscribers we're not offered them. We should be offered them. It should come on a separate sheet. Oh, by the way, we're going to do this on the website. Would you like it? Yeah. Yeah. No. How hard would it be? I don't know what they the admin the specials. Costs. I don't understand why they don't do it the same way as they do the specials. Exactly. Because the thing is, as, as some of our regular viewers know, 
I'm dyslexic. I, I, I work really hard. They're doing lots of different things. I have zero time. Sven, who has a family and children and edits videos, still has more time than me, which I don't see how. I can read. And yeah, he can read. And he stays on top of these things. And he says to me, oh, by the way, David, they've released the such and such. To be fair, one? I'm actually just a member of the Hero Collector fan group on Facebook. So I see all this stuff coming up. Hey, I'm a member of that too. <laughs> Dave's nice. Dave's, Dave's a dude. A few, a few <laughs> of the other geezers on there are all good. But I'm Hi, Colin. Just, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. funny, we all know who we're talking about. It's always the same group of people. Looking forward to DST. DST. Okay, so should we open this up and actually review it? Well, obviously I opened it up to make sure that you know it was intact and I had to swap out the machine, uh, one bird of bread. Oh, so yeah. it's already open at that end. Oh, okay. So, so enjoy yourself. The other thing about this pack as well is that it comes with a book. Actually, that's the other reason why I wanted this one rather than that. Oh, really? Because I don't actually own any of these. And I've been told that they've done a few of them. I've been told yeah. they're quite good. So Whenever they do a pack of the, because they've done several packs so, of the Enterprises. Ta da! I shall let you do this. I mean, to be fair, that's nice, isn't it? It is. Now this is the problem: is that I like A five. Yeah, it'd be nice if the rest of the magazines were that size. Which isn't how I originally felt about it no, when I quite first the same about it. I thought I'd change it. But having seen them like this. Mm. So packaging, first of all, uh, it's done so it can be sold in retail stores as well as yeah. on the website. It's very thin cardboard, but a nice high glossy image on it. It tells you exactly what you've got in it. The artwork's quite good. Information on the back is just standard legal nonsense. There is a barcode because you know if you're gonna sell it in the store, you need one. If you're tracking your stock, you need one. So there you go. Yep. Terribly. The book all good? Yep. Yeah. Um, it's literally just the three magazines. Three magazines together. condensed together. I mean, literally to the point of. Yeah, but at yeah. least it looks. Yeah. It and look. thicker, thicker cardboard. The print yeah. quality is nice. It looks rather nice. Rather nice. So anyway, it's made that anybody by giving it a hardback. So now okay. normally I don't get hugely enthusiastic about the magazines. Occasionally they have, but well, actually that, that's a little unfair. Most of the magazines have something in you've never seen before, unless you're in two ships of the line, hmm. you won't have seen the CGI versions of, and almost all the magazines now have the CGI versions. But the rest of the information in the magazines is normally things we know. Right, the form factor is concerned. Obviously, the um, the shuttle magazines come in this size. I think the Discovery ones come in this size as well, or are they are slightly bigger. Dis no, Discovery ones are yeah. that size. Well. Um, what intrigues me is I have yet to see the inside of one of the ones that have been released in those boxes, because um, mm. I think the box is smaller than that that they come in. Because they've, they've basically done a, a run of certain ships, so the D, the Derrida's Class Warbird, the Bird of Bray, so on and so forth, mm. in a retailer sort of like safe box for individual ships, which I think is a little bit bigger than that. But I don't think it's that big. So I'm we'll just try, I'll try and get, yeah, I'll try and get my hands on one at some point. Wondering what size the actual mag is inside them. We'll get they come with mag. We'll so, get our hands on that. But that's quite cool. Okay, okay, so... We've done that, but I'm sure that's a different paint scheme from the one you've had before. We've done that. Again, I think that's a different, different paint, paint scheme from the one you've had before. And we've yet to do this. So, yeah. should we go through these? Yes. Actually, you do that. I'll take the one. You do the battle one. Battle one okay, so I have these from the standard collection. Yep, that is a different paint job. Now, if I got this, that means I'd have three paint jobs of this one. Or is it that one? I can't remember now. <laughs> Which was the first one? <laughs> Dear Lord, this is the wrong end of the thing on the old track. Yeah. Wow. It's been at least 13 of these. Popular ships. <laughs> oh, no. You don't stand nicely. What run is that? The double A. Oh, okay, it's an early one. Okay. Flash on this. <laughs> oh, it's a master of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see the poster about that in Geekology of the Group. 
Someone's like, anybody seen Flash? Like, Everyone's seen it! <laughs> Promise! Okay, so I cannot remember what we scored these oh, back in the day. Well, this is the problem, is we were at the time, the first time around, we were doing the pre-release one, which had a different paint scheme from the release one, which is a different paint scheme to this one. So, so should we should we give just them give a completely score. new review? Yeah. Okay, and we've now handled quite a lot of these models, yeah. so we've got a lot to go with. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean, the one thing is underneath the the, 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 the bronze paints that the, the, the no, wing tips. it goes on the one and not the oh, other. Yeah, it's not all the way in on the other. Yeah. See, I was going to pick on this bit here and go mm, no. Just, oh, just, yeah. just no. And this one's right. Yeah, funny that. Yeah. But all in all, it's a nine. It's nice. Yeah. It's good. If you're a Klingon fan. This is really nice model. Yep. And again, for the price point, you can't knock them. However, I'm going to put a minor addendum on it. It's not going to affect the score, but I am going to say it for anybody who has yet to buy a Klingon ship from Eagle Moss. The guns are a nightmare. Then this one's all right, but they're normally bent. Yeah. Do not try and straighten them by hand. No, they have to be heat tempered. Personally, I recommend a small blowgun, and by that I'm not being funny. There, there is a, there is a, a small heat gun. And no, I don't mean a heat gun. I mean a blowgun, which is what they use for decoupage. Okay. It works far better than using heat guns. Oh, okay. Is it basically a little hydra? It's similar. There's not quite as much um, heat. Wind heat, yes. Air pressure, no. Okay. So high, high heat, low wind. Low, yeah, it's easy to wind. Yeah, wind. It's air. Air would air be the moved, which Yeah, is air being moved. Wind. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Make, make me sound really. Hello, oh, I'm sorry. I've done 18 hours today. And the one thing I can through. tell you, he's definitely an expert on wind. Yeah, it's because I have you as a friend. So, I'm happy with that. What you, you think, score with you yours? Think I'm the one with the hollow. <laughs> um, oh, it's yeah, <laughs> nine. Okay. Does the job. And I think it's better than the original one. Okay. But I do have a feeling that's what it looked like in the Dominion War. The do yeah, I think it was more of the Dominion Which is a problem for that one. <laughs> yes. Because we've only ever seen... Oh, we've seen it twice. Yeah. Same model, though. Because so. yeah. I was about to do the rookie mistake and say, we've only seen it in one film, but that's not true. There you go, do we need the sun? <laughs> okay, oh, actually, no, actually, A, B for the sun. Nice. Okay, yeah. My problem is, is that paint scheme isn't correct for the panty. No. She should be all green, shouldn't she? She should. Um, it's a nice paint scheme, it's just not the right one. But for oh, the bounty. And on, but it and doesn't on, say for the bounty. bounty on it. it doesn't say bounty, it says it's just a bounty. bird of prey. Bird of prey. And all of them are capable of landing, so we can't give it a bounty no, score. We have to give it a landed Klingon bird of prey. Prey score, yes. So the paint job is the same different. As the really, you think that's yep. the same? It's the same paint okay. job. It's a bit darker, but it's the There's, same it's, paint scheme. It, it's darker here. It's a lot darker across there, and if you flip it over, hang on. detailing on the engine just there is different to the detailing on the engine there. So it's the same. Hang on, so <clears throat> look at the. I've got the silver bits. Okay, look at the amount of red here. Yeah. Look at the amount of red there. Yes, it's because they've missed gold like trim. It. It's got gold to trim all across no, the it's edge. It's silver, silver. It's just because they've missed like that, that's all. Okay. But it's it's a different paint job. And uh, much lighter. Mm. Actually, I think it's lighter than on this one as well. This is gripping for you guys to yeah. watch. We'll, we'll show you photos so that we're you can see the what we're comparing. Pair. Right, if you compare the colour scheme. For, yeah. Actually, if you go, that, one's, that one's darker. That one's lighter, this one's lightest, but this one's got mottling across there. No, that's bit back, bit slightly different again. Yeah. Um, this one's got more weathering across this section than this one, and this one looks like it's been for yeah. the war. That's uh, probably because it landed. This one's got silver tip on the gun runs. Oh, right. This one doesn't, this one doesn't. If 
you flip it over this way, oh, I'm just very conscious of how delicate those things can be. At least we know there right. are def definitely three so, different birds of prey. So we've got a dramatically different yeah. canopy on there. Where's that been? It looks like it's gone through a dust cloud. Yeah, which is different to this one. Well, it's gone somewhere out where the sun doesn't shine. Shaded three quarters on the wing, in between the wings there. The baffles and Shaded completely from the baffles all the way to the hub. Yeah. Only the back. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the variations. The, the, paint, the paint jobs are. Mind you, saying that, would you necessarily want them all to have? No, 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 you don't want them the same. Because then you are literally just buying it for the wingspan. So. Yeah. I mean, the one thing I would say though is that this looks like they're all the wrong one. variations on the same paint scheme, whereas the paint scheme used for the two birds of prey we've had in the past. Was different. Was different. Entirely different. So, as a landed ship, because it doesn't need the sand, mm. as a landed vessel, it is exactly what it said on the tin. Yep, does the job. Paint job is slightly different, but it's fine. Join marks are fine. Incredibly rare to get one intact. <laughs> so, um. I'm, uh, I've no issue with giving that a nine and a half. Fair enough. Okay, cool. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Do we go and get it, grab your other birds of prey? We could do that. So here we are with the uh, original releases of the ships. Yeah. And you can see that whilst there isn't a massive difference between these two, mm -hmm. there's a huge difference between, between these two. two. Yeah. Um, obviously the model is exactly the same. We are purely talking about the paint jobs here. Yeah. And then the pre-release one is different again. I don't have a pre-release. You have a pre-release, pre so I don't have a pre-release. I'll pre sort a picture of that out to show you. So Mind you, it's on, it's on, it's on there anyway. Group. But yeah, well, we'll, we'll sort that out as well. So it, it's interesting to see how they're going along. But this does go with the fact that there are multiple releases of the oh, ships yeah. now. Totally. I mean, the fact that that one's gone through... What, what was that, the N? I think that was an N. Not an N. Oh dear. Don't do that. Let's leave should. that one off. Let's leave that, that one, one off because that stand is not good. No. Um, so yeah, that one's uh, an N. Um, so that's the thirteenth release. And, that and is... look at the stress points on the stand from all, from Ooh. all this time. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. this is a, a second release. Yeah. Yes, because the pre-release was the A. Pre-release was the A. From the, the, this from is the second. One. Um, so there you go. Because this is actually issue three, wasn't it? Was it issue three? I think something like that. it was yeah. in the uh, it was in the first. Few so it was in the, it was in the first five pre-release runs, which mm -hmm. is where which that doesn't have this kind of no. semi-different color on top. It was all one color with a wash. Um, but you'll see the pictures. Um, so it's interesting. I'm still to see missing that. I need to get one of those. But, um,
tell you what, as a pack for about, I think it's 35 or 40 quid, considering the models are now 14.99 each, I think that's that's good value if you want the three configurations. Yeah. A lot of people are still sore that the fact that the damn thing in the first place didn't have movable wings. That was never going to happen. That's never going to happen. I'm price. hoping that the XL one does. I'm probably that really nice. hoping. That'd be really nice. Probably well, really Playmate nice. toy did. So yeah. yeah. Actually, as did the Art Asylum. I don't know why I singled out the Playmate. The Art Asylum one did as well. So fingers crossed the XL will, will yeah. have removable wing panels, but we'll see. Right, well, that about wraps it up for us, but we'd love to read some of your thoughts, so please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't, you should take this opportunity to subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter, and I've got an Instagram as well, so come and find me. Yeah, and while you're on Facebook, check out Geekology of the Group, because that's where we hide all the nice high-res, well, as, as nice a high-res image as Facebook will let us, yeah. of uh, the things we review. And come and have a look at our Patreon page, all the links for everything is down below. And if you subscribe to us at the tier of Ensign slash Mini Autobot or above, you get early access to the episodes, but there's loads of other things to have a look through, to see what you can grab. So, thank you for watching, and good night. We've got great news for our viewers. We are running a competition. We are giving away one prototype Voyager to a lucky subscriber. Now, with every competition, there are T's and C's attached. So, Sven, what are the T's and C's attached for our exciting giveaway? You need to, one, subscribe to this channel. Two, subscribe to Geekology 2 because I'm being a git. Three, <laughs> well, we're just crowbarring your channel in there. Well, if you put some content on yours, we'd be doing yours as well. That sounded wrong. If anybody wants that, if that's what she said, feel free. Make for it. Um, then you need to uh, basically share our video that you've seen this on. But <laughs> it will be a different video each time. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're going to attach this to so many For those videos. of you who don't know, this uh, was given to us by Egomos because of the whole fun that was with the uh, Klingon Bird of Prey 3 pack we reviewed. Um, which might have been this video, but then it might not have been. No, 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 this, the, we regained this from the goodness of our hearts and we want to share it with our fellow fans. Egomos gave Egomos gave it. Yeah, so we can get <laughs> away. Um, so the other part that you need to do, so after you've subscribed, subscribed, and you've shared they have this to subscribe. video, they have, to subscribe. they have to subscribe, and hit that bell, and, and then subscribe bell. to the other channel, channel, and hit the bell, okay. and then share this video at least, Right. and then sh you have to comment below with the link to the share you did. Okay, so basically <laughs> this is the original version of Sonic. You've got to jump through all the hoops. All the hoops. All the hoops. But not look like some kind of nightmare. Like that Sonic movie trailer. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> Alright, well, there you go. So have fun. Make yeah. sure you subscribe. <laughs> subscribe again. Yeah. Share one of the videos that has this promotion attached to it. And please, in the comment section, share the share of the share that you shared of the share so that we know that you shared yeah. the share. There you go. Everybody follow that. Get yourself a nice Rick Sternback concept Voyager, which I prefer to the final Voyager. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Bye. Ah, oh, Sven, don't do your hair. We haven't got that kind of time. It's only a terabyte card. No problem, Jean-Luc. Than Sir Patrick. More dapper than Sir Patrick. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Three. It's like, and the funny thing is, is the picking mode actually said on it, bird of prey. Not a bird of prey. Not a bird of prey. Oh. Oh dear. That's going in the bloopers. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Still good looking. Okay, so Sven. Mm -hmm. There's Klingons on the start of the power, start of the power, start of the power. Klingons. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> right. Right, well, that about wraps it up for us. We'd love to. Yeah, oh, fuck's sake, really.